Ladies and gentlemen, William Barr will eventually charge Andrew McCabe first and then James Comey for numerous violations of the law. I do explain, and I also include Peter Strzok, I do explain in my latest Federalist article, it is below, share it everywhere, share it everywhere. In fact, if you type in James Comey in, in the Google, you will get my article, my thoughts, my views. Comey and McCabe should be charged with conspiring to defraud Americans. Comey, Strzok, and McCabe almost certainly conspired to use a compilation of salacious and unverified allegations as evidence to begin a federal probe. H.A. Goodman, The Federalist. I am honored to be published in The Federalist. You can see my other articles in The Federalist below in the pinned comment. Share that article everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever your, your preferred social media platform is, I'm no longer on Twitter. I'm no longer on Facebook. I've deleted everything but, you know, this channel. Um, I don't like I, I, I don't like social media. It's just too much negativity. But if you're still on it, Comey and McCabe should be charged. I explain everything. Now, I want to also, I want to read to you something. Just... Bear with me. This is part of the article. As for the alleged hacking, the Daily Beast's Kevin Paulson wrote, quote, both the DNC and the security firm CrowdStrike hired to respond to the breach have said repeatedly over the years they gave the FBI a copy of all the DNC images back in 2016. May I ask you a question, ladies and gentlemen? May I ask my detractors a question? And I've offered to debate all of them. Even the trolls on Twitter, there are going to be people who are going to be absolutely just triggered by my writing, especially this article. You can debate me on my channel. It's my pleasure. Contact me at contactgoodman78 at gmail.com. Let's debate. Let's talk. You can please explain to me how Madam Secretary... Clinton transferred top secret and special access program intelligence outside the Joint Worldwide Intelligence Communication System, JWIX. You can explain how that happened. What did they do? Did they take cell phone pics? Did they just plug their outside servers? Did, did she just plug the Chappaqua server into the State Department somehow? Who knows how? We need. We also need. I, let me know if you found the laptop in the mail. The Daily Beast also talked about that. That segment is like around 200,000 views. I read a Daily Beast article. They shipped a laptop in the mail. Yeah, they shipped a laptop in the mail. Yep, they did. UPS, FedEx, we don't know actually, actually, but I think it was UP, USPS. But why didn't James Comey and Andrew McCabe demand DNC servers? There's a reason. There's a reason, ladies and gentlemen. Because without the DNC servers, they relied on CrowdStrike. With CrowdStrike, they then had a platform to say, hey, you know what? There's a steel dossier. Let's look at that. From the outside tech firm, they had the steel dossier. From the steel dossier, they had a conversation with Papadopoulos. And before that, they then got a spy warrant on Carter Page. And then they had Stephen Halpern, an informant in the campaign. Then they had GCHQ giving them information as early as 2015. Then they had Justice Department officials telling them, hey, don't utilize the Steele dossier. I explained that in the article, in the Federalist article, that you please share everywhere. The, the Justice... The, President Obama's Justice Department actually warned James Comey and Andrew McCabe and Peter Strzok. If you can believe that. <laughs> Even though everyone was on the same page, everyone was covering their tuchus. At the same time, that's how they do. They, they, do, they, they, they 
cover their backside while at the same time committing the sa- working together to achieve a goal. Their goal was to cover up Clinton's crimes. Then they just utilized <laughs> evidence that she purchased. She purchased her own Russian hacking myth. I also explain that there's really it's it's kind of useless to look at the uh, Mueller report because there people are like oh we're just gonna wait to see the Mueller report. Well, what are you going to see on page three hundred and seventy six, line thirty eight? You're gonna and uh, and in in parentheses and we should indict Trump. No, you're not going to find that there are no more there are no further indictments. In fact, the only indictment linked to it now is a Democrat. That was the other day. There are no more people being charged under the Mueller probe. Why? Because the evidence was linked to Clinton. Even Papadopoulos' conversation with Downer, I explained in the Federalist article about Comey and McCabe. If you type in Andrew McCabe and type in James Comey right now, you'll see the article in the Federalist. So... I'm very, very proud to be published in The Federalist. I used to be a contributor to The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon. I've contributed to The Daily Caller. I'm a contributor to The Jerusalem Post. I contribute to The Times of Israel. And, you know, this article is a breakthrough because I encapsulate, I summarize like William Barr <laughs> the statute which is the 18 371 statute for those who conspire to defraud and have you ever asked yourself like I said well why didn't if, if they went after the servers at Trump Tower if they allowed Hillary, Madam Cyberhack, to d- literally delete and wipe her server clean, why didn't that? Why weren't they interested in DNC servers? Okay. Well, probably for the same reason they allowed Clinton to just <laughs> bleach bit everything. But you have Peter Strzok, and I explain this in the article, you have Peter Strzok stating that we'll stop Trump, where's an insurance policy. Then you have Stefan Halper, the informant in the campaign. Then you have actually Clinton lawyers, if you can believe this, speaking. DNC lawyers met with FBI. <laughs> before surveillance warrant. Then you had people in the Mueller probe being given the dossier. Then you have the dossier being not only unverified, Obama's, President Obama's Department of Justice warning the FBI not to use it. Then you have the FBI deceiving the FISA judge and not telling the FISA judge that Hillary Clinton purchased the dossier. And that it's not a shred of evidence is confirmed by U.S. intelligence. Then you have, like I explained to a wonderful pundit on the left, with 500,000 subs, he's fantastic, that, um, let's see, uh, there was already o- the ODNI and DHS reports that stated, oh, um, There's moderate to high confidence about everything. The United States government is not certain, okay? The sun will rise uh, and set, and you'll pay taxes, and uh, at the end of the day, uh, you're going to kick the bucket. Uh, There are certain things that are certain in life, okay? The Ramones are awesome. That's a certainty, Black Sabbath is awesome. It's a certainty. Some things are confident, or moderately confident. Okay? Like 
<laughs> Russia hacking the DNC. The ODNI Office of Director in, uh, National, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, and the Department of Homeland Security have two separate intel agency reports. A month, what a year before the Mueller probe. Almost what? Yeah, almost a, a year before. The, no, about eight months before the Mueller probe. They stated that, oh, yeah, you know, uh, if, if the Russians hacked the DNC because they were so afraid of Hillary. Oh, they're so afraid. Meanwhile, Bill Clinton met with Vladimir Putin, according to Newsweek in the Hill, at his home. Bill Clinton, you know, at Vladimir Putin's home. Hi, Vladdy, how are you? I'm so happy. My goodness. That caviar was amazing. The vodka. Oh, my lord. Actually, any anything to get me away from you know who. She's probably flying around on her broom right now. I just I need a vacation. I I need help, Vladdy. Help me out. I need a friend. They met as Uranium One was giving money to the Clinton Foundation, and then oh, just a coinky dink, miraculously, Bill Clinton got half a million dollars, but then he also got $1.2 million for speaking arrangements by UBS, who was in hot water with the IRS, and then Hillary intervened. Oh, just a coinkydink. Then there's a Boeing, then there's a, you know, a Boeing issue, then there's the uh, Haiti, $10 billion raised. The people of Haiti only got 3% of that money. I interviewed Haitian-born journalist Daddy Cherry and Charles Ortel regarding the theft of $10 billion from the people of Haiti. That money was raised. Where did it go? So, we have, and, and then you have, like, this issue, like, oh, he didn't, there was no surveillance of the campaign. Was there? You're not suggesting, William Barr, there was surveillance. And <laughs> Barr's like, yes, there was, there was, yeah. He spied on the campaign, yeah. I mean, we don't know if, you know, it was justified. But it was, of course. I mean, James Bond couldn't spy more. You know. Well, what do you want? I mean, of course there was surveillance. I mean, you know, Trump, you got to understand something. The guy has to be very likely the cleanest politician who's ever lived. He has been spied on. And people have, around him have been tormented, and there have been process crimes, and that's another thing. And, and still, they couldn't find any dirt on, on Trump. And that's another thing. They knew the, D, the dossier was unverified. They knew that they couldn't confirm the DNC alleged hack. They knew that the Papadopoulos conversation is mere hearsay. They knew that um, there was no actual evidence of an act of a crime. So if you've lasted this long with, <laughs> with, with me rambling on, if you haven't fallen asleep yet, you know, God bless you, you're amazing. But there was no crime, and I explained that in the article. There was no crime. Ladies and gentlemen, there was no crime committed. Hello? There was no crime committed that Trump was linked to. There was no crime, there was no illegal act that Trump committed, yet they investigated him. And they, sp and they wiretapped everyone around him. And they conducted this grandiose investigation because John O'Brien was also a part of it, and James Clapper was also a part of it. And I love people on the left who are like, this was 100% legal. It's like, not one aspect of this, if the tables were turned, would they allow for Madam Queen Cyberhack? Not one aspect. <laughs> so Trump is going to find, he's like, this is an amazing dossier. <laughs> I, I can't do Trump. I cannot do Trump. Because you imagine him saying how wonderful the dossier is that he he's like this is the best dossier that it's ever been. We 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 purchased it, um, and um, you know it's like 
the, the tables, if the tables were turned and he purchased a dossier, and then somebody at a bar someplace in some city, um, you know, said that they were trying to, that people were trying to find dirt on Trump, and then it, it, the whole thing, if the whole thing, meanwhile, the uranium deal, William Barr's already written that there's more reason to probe that. There are criminal referrals now that Congressman Devin Nunes and Rat, uh, John Ratcliffe have given, and others have given to William Barr. They're going to meet William Barr personally. If it was Sessions, it'd be like, I can't meet you. Sorry. I'd love to meet you, but I, I'm busy for the next 20 years. Sorry. And I've recused myself from all of humanity. Just because the Democrats told me to do so. Hope you don't mind. There, William Barr is actually meeting with t- t- these, rep- these Republican congressmen. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Andrew McCabe is in a world of trouble. James Comey, a little bit less. But Comey will eventually get indicted. McCabe first. Comey will be like, uh, you know what, I can... Uh, he already on CNN offered to testify against McCabe. McCabe is being indicted, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be indicted because he leaked information and he's about Clinton Foundation probes that they did, they did nothing about and they swept under the rug. But he did, he leaked the information with intent to deceive. Uh, sorry, sorry. He lied under oath, sorry, about, about leaking the information to the press to deceive, with the intent to deceive. Why? Because his wife received hundreds of thousands of dollars from Terry McAuliffe. Terry McAuliffe is probably the only human being alive who is slimier or probably equal in terms of the reptilian just um, ooze of Comey. And then both of them pale in comparison to, to Madam Cyberhack. But... McCabe is indicted, or will be indicted, because he lied under oath three times, okay? Three. (laughs) Okay, three times, all right? Three times. Comey leaked classified memos, and I explained that in the article below. So share that. Share that article below, ladies and gentlemen. You can't leak classified memos and lie under oath. Look, objectively, I, I cite the legal statute for people who defraud the U.S., but objectively, there are two clear-cut criminal acts. And then a third, if you want to talk about uh, Strzok literally stay, stay, saying we'll stop Trump. But there are two clear-cut criminal acts. One, McCabe lying under oath. And two, James Comey leaking classified material. So, you want to talk about a publisher? Oh my God, you know. God bless him. He deserves to be free. You want to know who leaked classified material deliberately? Salt of the earth, James Comey. So many questions. I'm overlooking a bluff uh, on the cliffs of and these wonderful shores. Oh, my God. It's amazing. It's like the Zen ain't working. Nobody believes the shtick. Nobody believes anything. Nobody believes it. Nobody believes it. They're all on their book tour because they need money for the future uh, William Barr indictments. Give me your thoughts below. Share the Federalist article everywhere. Thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is an important time in American history. And um, I'm glad to be speaking and sharing my thoughts with you and and reading your thoughts in the comments section. And I'm glad we're in this together. Thank you so very much. God bless my writing in the Jerusalem Post, the Times of Israel, the Daily Caller, um, and the Federalist is below. Check out my firearms channel, also HA2A. Thank you.